Hey everyone, I'm going to do a couple of reviews here. had a John from Tennessee send me a couple things. First thing is a American Amber Ale. He calls it Evil Twin Clone, Clone Big Mama Red. Let's get that thing going. The original gravity was estimated to be 1067. I don't know what it actually was. And I don't know the final gravity. I'm assuming these are bottle conditioned, although I don't know that for sure, I guess. so. Treat them accordingly. Um, Mars Otter is the main base malt. It's got quite a number of different specialty grains. Uh, Crystal Caramel 40, some Munich, some Crystal 12, some Victory, uh, less amount of Crystal, uh, I'm sorry, Crystal 120. Uh, a little bit of Victory, a little bit of Pale Chocolate, uh, Bittering uh, with uh, Amarillo and Centennial is in here, Amarillo, Centennial. Those are those are the hops, uh, bitterness units. Estimated 26. Oh, okay, so not super hoppy. Safe Ale, American US05, American Ale. Uh, so here we go. I don't have the best light in here. Uh, it, I, it's quite, uh, it would be like a dark red. It's not maybe as brown or as dark as it looks. Um, I think it's like a very dark red. Has a nice head. I have to get through the head to get a little bit of a better aroma. Let's take a sip. Oh, it's yummy. I like it. Um, the complexity of the malt bill and the specialty grains, I think, comes through. Um, you do get the crystal, a little bit of the crystal, you get a little bit of the Munich. I, I suppose good old Maris Otter, though, um, is such a nice malt for something like this. It's mostly malty. There is a little bit of hop bitterness. Um, American Amber, I would expect it to be more like a hop rod rye. That's probably a rye beer, but uh, I can't think of uh, doesn't Terrapin have a hoppy red. Uh, there's one in, from like Pennsylvania. What's that one? Anyway, um, these you know big kind of hoppier red ales, uh, and this or amber ales, and this is not one of those. But that's fine. There is more bitterness than just like a brown ale. It's um clean tasting. You always hear me talking about that. I'm trying to drink the whole thing right now. I'm trying to enjoy it. A little bit later, but um, clean tasting, no off flavors. Um, when I get a a bottle from one of you guys that does has have an off flavor, I'll try to discuss it best I can. Um, there's always good things to say about any beer too, but the carbonation is is nice on this. Um, it's cleanly made. It's a nice recipe too. Um, I don't know what if it was 1067. It's probably. I'm burping, um, six or seven percent, I suppose, which is not on here, but, um, so it's kind of one of those beers with enough of a mouthfeel that you don't really, um, get a lot of booziness and you don't really get the, uh, uh, that kind of alcohol presence, but this is nicely done. I think you, um, did a good job. You know, I forget that, I think it was in a message you sent me. I don't have it in front of me. Maybe I'll go look it up. Um, something about this beer or another one of these beers I'm placing in a contest. Actually, I'm going to go look that up. I'll be right back. Okay, one of these beers got third place in first round nationals. And I think it must be this one because he said that um, he just rebrewed it maybe for later rounds. Um, but the rebrew one's not ready yet. And I know that this one, this Berliner Weiss, is about a year old. So it must be this one. So I can see how they... Um, they liked it because it is a real, a real nice beer. And then the other thing that I looked up was uh, it's Trobes in Pennsylvania, and they have a Nugget Nectar, and they also have um, Hotback Amber. So I was kind of thinking of those really nice kind of hoppy beers that maybe are ambery or uh, reddish. Okay, so this is a Berliner Weiss. He said it's um, about a year old. Uh, simple recipe: about 50% Pilsner, 50% wheat. A um, little bit of Zaz for bittering, 
And he used uh, lacto and German ale yeast. So this one will be, I'm going to do one more sip of this. Yeah, that is nice. I think for like an amber ale with a little bit of bitterness, I mean, I think that's just what you're going for. I don't know if they would say that it's too dark. I'm not really sure if that would be a critique. If it was in a smaller sample cup, it wouldn't look as dark as it does here. But um, of course, you could make it hoppier if you just want to make it more of a bitter, um, really Americanized kind of a thing. But otherwise, uh, I like it. Um, nice job on that one. Okay, let's try this one. This is the Berliner Weiss, which I'm hoping is going to be a little bit sour. It's pretty clear, light, of course. See, look, there you go. It smells a little bit funky, actually. Not as much, maybe I get a little lacto, but also kind of like a m meaty funkiness, which is, I wouldn't expect off the bat, but see how it tastes. Ooh, that'll clean your palate. It's nice. It smells, or it um, tastes, definitely more aggressive than it smells. Um, which, you know, I mean, I suppose if it's old, aromas do kind of get less uh, pronounced with time. Although this kind of a beer, only kind of sour beer, the aroma still could be strong. It's nice because it's, it's kind of light in the sense of uh, light in body. Uh, Berliner Weiss is normally somewhat lower in gravity, so I don't know what this one is, but it's probably not more than, you know, four-ish, I would guess. Um, but it sweeps across the palate with this pronounced uh, bitterness. Um, not bitterness, that's not the right word. Um, bitter twang, you know, like a strong, sweet tart, uh, good goose. I mean, anything that has that. Um, acidity to it. And also, I do, I think, specifically get lactic acid because I've added lactic acid to one of my beers, so I'm a little bit familiar with kind of that flavor. Maybe that's what I was smelling when I was saying like meaty tang or whatever it was I said. Otherwise, no off flavors. I mean, that's, I haven't had a ton of these. Probably have more homebrew versions of these than commercial. Um, but it's about what I expect. Um, really refreshing. This would really be a good beer. I should have saved it for a hot day. Um, that's what people say about putting their advice, but I think it makes me think of that. So I'll cut this off now. Both beers, clean, nicely made for what they each are. Very enjoyable. I'm going to sit back and enjoy the rest of them, and thanks for sending them, and I'll get to the commercial beers that you sent as well. So thanks a lot. Talk to you later.